In our last video, we showed you an absolute disaster of a deck. Today, we're here at the deck store to talk about the do's and don'ts of your future decking project. So come on. Oh, but I'm warning you, things are about to get real. Jack. If the company you're speaking with has got a beautiful website with beautiful photography, and it all looks very impressive, at the end of the day, what does it actually mean though? Terry? Absolutely nothing. It's all smoke and mirrors. Unless you actually go and see the projects that they claim they have done, it doesn't mean anything. If the company you are speaking with is not willing to personally take you to see that project, run. run. Show me the money. Nice shot. The contractor takes a shot at getting you to pay cash, I would rethink my strategy. Any contractor that tries to avoid things like taxes usually will also get you to try to avoid things like insurance. It's good to make sure that your contractor is a straight shooter. Yes! Great shot. Are you all right? Oh, no, I'm fine, fine. Serenity now. <laughs> serenity now, serenity now. You know, Doc, sometimes I just don't feel real. Hmm. Yeah, being real is very important. Except when it comes to synthetic versus real decking. Synthetic decking is totally the way to go, unless you actually like the stress and strain and anxiety of stripping, sanding, and restaining your deck every single year. It's ridiculous. Am I right? Wow. I know. Doc, that was amazing. Yeah, you're welcome. That's crazy. Hmm? But I don't understand. What does that got to do with me? Well, nothing. I just like hearing my own voice. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain! So, you're feeling pretty confident so far about the company you've been talking to about building your deck? Let me ask you a question. How many members of the team have you actually met? I'm guessing just one. But let me tell you something. There's a big difference between I and team. If you're not given the opportunity to meet the team behind the scenes, we got one word for you. Sayonara. This usually works. Well, performance issues, you know, it's not uncommon. One out of five. Let's do this. I'm in. Not all tools are created equal. Oh. Some tools definitely outperform others. The same applies to footings for your deck, where helical piers outperform concrete seven days of the week and twice on Sundays. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going with the big steel screw. I'll be over here feeling inadequate. Well done. That's very comforting, but I'm afraid you'll just have to wait. I hate waiting. If you had a choice to eat a meal prepared on a rotisserie like this, mm. Versus a microwave like this. Oh, dear God. You know, nine out of 10 people would choose a rotisserie. With the 10th guy being a complete and total imbecile. You know, in life, some things are worth waiting for. Patience is a virtue. The same goes for your backyard project. If you're calling a contractor in the middle of the summer and he's available to start right away, this is what you're gonna end up with. Oh. <laughs> you know, any reputable deck builder will need to be booked well in advance. But just like the rotisserie, it'll be worth the wait. And there will come a moment when you have a chance to show it. To do the right thing. I love those moments. I like to wave at them as they pass by. You know, when it comes to choosing decking materials, you definitely want options. But if your contractor's being pushy about a particular product, you gotta ask yourself why. Be sure that your contractor is not trying to sell you an inferior or discontinued product. For all you know, they have a surplus of a suspect product 
that's already cost them the shirt off their back or the shoes off their feet. Uh, you fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Yes! Boy, games sure are fun. Let's play again. All right. Yes, but when it comes to building a deck in accordance with your local bylaws, you don't want to fool around. If a contractor even remotely hesitates when it comes to getting a permit for your deck, you're going to do what Terry's about to do. <laughs> Just walk away. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I had a bad experience. Damn it. Once you've established that the workmanship is acceptable, that's only part of the process. It's really all about the experience. Mm. The workmanship of the contractor might be acceptable, but if the experience with working with the contractor has left a bad taste in your mouth, red flag. <coughs> I can't get it off. If you want me to take a dump in a box and mark it guaranteed, I will. I got spare time. You know what, buddy? I feel, I feel pretty chill around you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's cool. Because I feel pretty comfortable around you too, buddy. Almost as comfortable as I feel when a company gives me like a really good warranty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. However, you know what? You want to make sure that that uh, warranty is worth the paper it's written on. Hmm. Well, that's a good point. A lot of companies say they're going to protect you, but at the end of the day, how do you really know? Well, you know, I would. I would contact some of the customers that they've done work for many years ago mm. and just check them out. Yeah, that really would speak volumes. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel, I feel even more comfortable now. Thanks, man. You're a real pal. <laughs>